Hi, this is Tanjit from webexcel.net. In today's tutorial, I'm going to share a complete overview and a review of WordPress Download Manager plugin. Without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. So, as you can see, I'm using Download Manager plugin by W3E10. Make sure you're using the same one as I'm using. So, I would like to add a file by going Downloads, Add New, and then give a title here how to make a wordpress site for free this is the book i'm selling and this is the content which is very special ha ha, ha. that's it now i'm, I'm going to uh, give a file here to do that i'm going to just uh, drag it and drop it here and uh, if you would like to give a URL, uh, like if you have a Dropbox URL or any any URL that have a that that has a downloadable file, you can just paste it here. Now I'm going to go to this section called Package Settings. You, you can you can uh, define a version here, like I'm going to give 1.0.0 and level, like download this book or buy this book and you can also give a file size i'm going to go give a 10 mb and stock limit i'm going to give uh 10 view count you can also give a view count so 200 and download count you can also give a download count you can also set download count if you don't set it it will be unlimited okay so i'm going to give 15 and you can also allow for a specific uh, rules you can also allow access for a specific rules like shop manager customer subscriber contributor author so i'm going to um, give the access for all visitor and you can also select the page template from here if you would like to select a uh, page template uh, you can select it here so I'm going to select the um, single column with tag preview. That's what I'm want. What I want, and lock option. Uh, from the lock option, you can also say this can be only download if user checked terms and condition checkbox. Now, if you if you have any terms and condition, you can just give it here. You can also put your link here. Mm, if you would like to enable password, you can get, give a password header, header here and also enable a capture lock here, however you want. So this is so easy, so useful and also there is lots of option here. Uh, as you can see, there is an icons option also. You can select uh, your own icons and also I'm going to use this one. Also, you can give a price. You can give a base price like this base price is um, uh, $30 but I'm going to set it the sale price is is $40 so that's it valid unit you can also set a valid unit here I'm going to give the 2020 and you can also specify the time everything you want and also if you would like to give a free version of your book or anything that has a free version of your file you can just click on this button and add the file here and you can also enable license and uh, you can also enable license from here and the license you can add from is here as you can see license manager that's it now um, there is also lots of option like rules based discount if you would like to give a discount based on, on your user like customer, shop manager, customer, subscriber and contributor, author, editor, you can also give it here. Like you can set percentage, how much percentage they can get a discount for uh, according to the rule. So if I, I, I'm going to publish this one and then the, he will give me a link here. Mm, as you can see here. So the link will be like uh, your website.com slash download slash the title. You can also customize the title however you want. Okay. So that's it. This is the this is the output. You can also change the 
design um, but uh, the free version of the free version of it you cannot customize the design you can if you like to design it you can you need to purchase the premium one but uh, this is pretty much enough uh, if you like to use on your site but um, you can also have you can also have templates some basic templates here uh, link template page template which you can use and you can also see the preview of it this is the preview and you can use this on the file settings so now I'm going to go to assets manager as you can see there is a asset manager you can you can access if you if you give access of your assets you can go to here and templates that you can use add-ons also they have also add-ons here you can uh, maybe they are premium mm, you can you can check this out you can there there are some there are some premium add-ons called premium add-ons you can use also there are free add-ons that you can also use um, that's it now uh, if you would like to um, uh, know the settings of the plugin you can also see the settings here uh, also orders that you can manage from here and license manager you can create new license or or uh, or use the existing existing ones if you would like to give your user coupon then you can create coupon like add new and you can you can give a name and give a percentage or fixed price coupon you can add any dynamic value you want so that is that is very cool feature and I think you should definitely try this one also um, one thing I would like to include here is called, it's called the blocked IPs. If you would like to block any IPs, you can just uh, give the IP address here and one per line you can block as much as you want. This is pretty much cool and also you can, you know, there are lots of settings that you can use. As you can see login page and this is the login form login form shortcode you can use also register page you can also use the register um, short code you can, you can use and if you like to use your files as short code you can also give that too and uh, just need to copy the short code from here and then add new page then you just need to push the you just need to pass the short code here that's it publish it view the page As you can see it's showing here so that's pretty much uh, for today if you like this video make sure you subscribe our channel and share the video and uh, if you need any assistance on download manager plugin or if you have any question feel free to share on the comment section below so that's it See you in the next video.